Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to add analytics to your Webflow site with PostHog. Webflow is one of the most popular no-code site builders. It's great for building marketing pages, blogs, landing pages, and e-commerce sites. And making sure that you have analytics for that site, things like button presses, inputs, session recordings, and page views, ensures that you get the most out of that site. And PostHog helps you get these analytics. So to add PostHog to your Webflow site, first you're gonna need a Webflow site. So I've gone ahead here and used one of their basic templates to create a very basic site. We can open this up in the designer here and we can see all the features Webflow has to offer. So I've just basically changed the fonts here. If we wanted to, we can even add a button to this area fill it in with some text. We'll be able to track this later. We can do that, and then once we're all done editing this Webflow site, we can just go up to the top right corner. We'll click Publish to Selected Domains. We're just gonna use this webflow.io domain for now. So once it's published, we can go to the site, and you'll see it's up and running here. Next, after this, we're gonna go into PostHog, and we're going to get the analytics snippet that we can add to this site to get analytics on it. So in PostHog, we've created a new project and we'll just select web. We'll copy the snippet here. So just click this button and this copies the snippet to your clipboard. We'll head back to Webflow and then we'll go to the project settings. And in project settings, we'll go all the way over to the custom code tab. And here we're going to paste in our snippet and press save. So you're going to need this custom code tab and that requires having a site plan for Webflow. So you're going to have to pay for Webflow, but PostHog is free up to a million events and 15,000 session recordings per month. So you only have to pay for Webflow. So once we've saved this, we can go back and we can launch our site again. We can publish again. And then once it's published, we'll head back to the Webflow site, we'll refresh, we'll click hello a couple of times, we'll scroll around, maybe we'll click on this image and go back. And then we'll go back to PostHog and we'll click continue. It'll take a little bit for our events to come in. It's sent events, so we'll click next. And then we'll see we have some events here. We see we click the link with the text hello. We went to a different page. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you wanna use session recordings is go into project settings and you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to recordings and then click record user sessions. And then this will allow you to set up session recordings, which are really useful to see how people are actually using your site in detail on Webflow. So that's the basics on how you set up analytics and session recordings in Webflow with PostHog. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join our Slack community at posthog.com slash Slack. You can find more tutorials like this at posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching.